We are here to celebrate a birthday party of a very old institution as far as Indiana, Putnam County, and Greencastle are concerned, DePaul University. Yes, this year is a special one at DePaul University. 150 years since its founding in the frontier village of Greencastle, Indiana. It's a time for celebration, a valid reason to extol the yesterdays and to anticipate the tomorrows. The year-long birthday party and celebration opened with Community Day on a fine autumn weekend. It was a day to recall the harmonious relationship of DePaul and Greencastle. It was a day for a convocation to recognize and be ribbon the unexpected multitude of descendants of DePaul's very first board of trustees. It was a day for town and gown camaraderie at a Bowman Park picnic, where hot dogs and hot music by the Putnam County Senior Citizens Kitchen Band made it a dandy Yankee Doodle kind of day. The sesquicentennial year Old Gold Day was special too. The warmth that comes from dormant friendships renewed. The inevitable gold balloons sailing who knows where after a Tiger touchdown to proclaim 150 years. James J. Kelly, class of 54, from St. Charles, Illinois, was awarded the Old Gold Goblet as the Alumnus of the Year. Appropriate recognition, certainly, for leading the $100 million sesquicentennial campaign to its remarkable conclusion, and well ahead of schedule. Thank you. And what's an old gold day or a birthday party without a parade? The president, a beaming parade marshal, the pom-pom squad, the band. Floats that reveal DePaul students are humanists, not engineers. Old gold queens and cheerleaders from yesteryear. Still beautiful, still exuberant, still in love with the spirit of DePaul. A spirit enhanced, of course, by strong young scholar-athletes who send alumni happily homeward with an old gold day victory. A spirit enhanced by the first inductees of the new athletic hall of fame. It was a time of the changing of the guard, too. Robert G. Bottoms was inaugurated DePaul's 18th president. The colorful ceremonies were held all gold weekend in Kresge Auditorium. They were a clear reminder of the magnetism DePaul creates for those who would share and rejoice in her past and in her future. President Bottoms received the Presidential Medallion from Robert Frederick, new chairman of the Board of Trustees. Dr. Bottoms shared his educational vision with DePaul students and more than a thousand alumni who jammed the auditorium. I am concerned that you are educated for tomorrow and not for yesterday, that you emerge from DePaul with the knowledge to write, to speak, to organize yourselves effectively, and finally that you develop here, living among us, a sense of values and the ability to judge the world with reason and with justice rather than intuition and emotion. Others had visions and recollections of DePaul too. Civil rights leader Vernon Jordan, Family Circle editor Barbara Blakemore, and astronaut Joe Allen returned for the sesquicentennial Parents' Day. They shared their most candid views of their DePaul experiences. Um, and so did the venerable Dean Dr. Robert Farber and the inimitable Tom Mont. Emeritus Professor Jerome Hickson returned to reminisce about his peers and the raucous student chapels of his early DePaul years. So far as I know, there were terrible scuffles up here for the most prestigious front footage in the balcony. Struggles between the freshmen uh, of the Sigma Chi's and the Delta Taws. I have never seen anyone or heard of anyone being precipitated uh, to destruction below, but they had some very close escapes. Uh, yes, there's a party going on right here. It's celebration time. It's sesquicentennial time at DePauw. A time for us to explore and recognize our roots. A time to reaffirm the values and traditions of old gold. To explore the important issues of our time. 
to look ahead. As long as the college bell keeps ringing, as long as our logo of East College goes around the world on letterheads and on TV, all of us in Greencastle and Putnam County know that we have a special place in the hearts of thousands of alumni from Anchorage to Zaire. And this should make us all very happy on our birthday.